Alright, well, it's been quite a while since I've done a video, so let's try and get over some uh, video shyness. Um, I've been making up uh, a few of my instruments for the survey industry, and this is my little SMR prison ball unit that I make up, and I've, I've actually shown these in previous videos. So I've got the, uh, the SMR prison ball, I've got the L4 bracket that I do, and I've got the puck that I also do. Um, they allow the surveyor to put them anywhere they want. These ones here are often put onto a, onto a flange face for the uh, oil and gas industry to, uh, to pick up datum points on, uh, on flanges. But one of the other instruments I do is a line marking plate. Now this is uh, three or four stainless that is machined and then I lap it. Um, and that's uh, within a couple of tenths of a thou on thickness to, to 10 mil and I inlay the little bubbles into that. Now the ends on these, uh, when you machine them, obviously come out as a radius and uh, you can fill them up with the epoxy but it doesn't look really good so what I do is I make these little tiny end caps that go on the end of the bubbles and they're just adhered onto that using the resin with a, a bit of a pigment mixed inside it. It puts a nice little finish on the ends of the bubbles. Also with these particular uh, plates, I have a bevel machined on those. I do cut a 45 degree notch in, put a line mark through the center point where the SMR bubble or prism is going to be able to sit. Um, same as the puck, I bore down and fit the, uh, the rear earth magnets into that and that allows that to sit in there quite securely when that's being put up against a, uh, a wall for, uh, for center marking. He scratches his, uh, his four points, then he can scribe his line and he's got the exact center point where the uh, SMR ball was sitting. So one of the things with making up these little pucks is that um, I've tried a number of ways, um, filling up a straw with the resin with the uh, with the pigment mixed in them, um, removing the paper, but these become quite flimsy and they do break off fairly easily. So the purpose of today's video is just to show you a little method that I use, and this one has been machined down quite a bit, but basically it's a cylinder I make up out of stainless, uh, machine the OD, uh, I drill the ID with material thickness left the machine back. You sit that in an AR30 collet, you can then machine off the outer casing and then machine in the features that you want, particularly with these little pucks, which has got the radius on them. And it holds them quite rigid. I can then part them off and they're finished. And it's quite quick to do. And uh, it gives a very, very good result. And you can make these any diameter you like to, uh, to machine uh, a resin that you may want a particular pigment colouring to do a feature like this. And it does work quite well. Alright, we'll head over to the lathe and we'll, we'll knock one of these out. They're fairly quick. And then what I will do is when I finish this completely, um, we'll, uh, we'll show you what it all looks like when it's done. Alright, let's get over the lathe. Alright, let's see how we go. I've got the camera at a fairly precarious angle here and we'll try and work around as best we can. And excuse the rain, it is pouring down here at the moment. Alright, let's get a little bit of that casing cut off. I just use the carbide tip tools for the casing with the stainless. And we fit in a high speed steel. Wrong size there now. All right, I just insert one of my radius cutters for the milling machine.
can't get off the three mil. Nicely radius little end for the bubbles. All right, I'll just give that a little bit of a rub on some uh, very fine emery, just take a little pop off. But um, yeah, it is a good way if you do want to make up some sticks and put some features into some epoxy or resin. Um, great way to hold it and support it while you're doing the job. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that and uh, we'll see you soon. Alright, before I pass these off to the customer, I thought I'd show you how those um, level bubbles came up. And you can see those little ends that we created using the uh, the resin with the uh, with the pigment. And uh, they fitted in beautifully into the, uh, into the slots that I've done on that stainless plate. So a quite effective method. So um, if you ever need anything like that, Give it a go. Alright, I want to get these packaged up and uh, out and we'll move on to the next project. Alright guys, I'll see you soon. <laughs>